Hello and happy St. Patty's Day! My name is Doug, and I've been an animal trainer for 36 years. I can tell y'all, it is not just a job, it truly is a way of life. We dedicate so much of ourselves to the stewardship of these magnificent creatures. It's a huge responsibility as well as an incredible privilege to care for and build relationships with these wonderful whales. We're honored to share what we've learned with all of you today and for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Orca Encounter.
That was our killer whale family, showing off their size, speed, power, and problem-solving ability. These and other behaviors keep the whales active and engaged. SeaWorld killer whales have inspired generations to care for our natural world, and we're excited to share their story with you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's food web. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus, faster than an Olympic swimmer. All of that today and more. These and other behaviors provide an environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood or to step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see the whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen their social bonds and allow the whales to problem solve as a group. It's another reason they're known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca. Their common name is killer whale. These five whales have their own personal names. Sakara, Sakari, Kamea. And here in front of you are Kayuka and Tua. Kamea is the youngest at eight years old. Her mother, Takara, is the oldest at 30 years old. Takara is the matriarch of this whale pod, which means she's the leader. The whales trust us and take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach the whales husbandry, or healthcare behaviors. Joining us in the slide out are trainers Carrie and Doug to help demonstrate some of those behaviors. Yes, we absolutely are. Hey, I'm over here with our largest whale. His name is Kayukin, and he's presently demonstrating a behavior that we call a Present. Now in this position, not only can we take a look at Kai's entire body, but we also have access to some blood vessels underneath the skin on the underside of his head flute. And at least once a month, our veterinarians will take a small blood sample from each of the whales. The whales, their condition will remain calm throughout the procedure. Now during today's presentation, you're going to see us get some back rubs and belly rubs, or even massaging their tail flutes, as I'm doing with Kai right now. Now the whale, their skin is sensitive to the touch. So this is just one of the many ways that we can build our relationship with the orcas. That's right, Ted. Hey everyone, I'm over here on the other side of the pool. And another important diagnostic tool we have is how much the whales weigh. We weigh them on a weekly basis by asking them to slide their entire body out of the water onto a killer whale size scale located in one of our adjacent back pools. And if you would turn your attention right here, Kayuka's going to demonstrate. Nicely done, Kayuka. Now if you notice, in this slide out position, part of Kayuka's body is still in the water. And I'm about to point that out for you. It's back here from his dorsal fin down to his tail flukes. And this region of their body is called the peduncle. And it contains some very large, very powerful muscles. So in this position, we would not get an accurate weight on Kayuka. So in order to solve that problem, we train the whales to lift up their heads and tails. And that's how we know that as of Wednesday morning, Kayuka is weighing in at 9,500 pounds. It's important that we weigh all of the whales on a regular basis to ensure that the younger whales are growing properly and that the adult whales like Kayukin here are maintaining a healthy body weight. These husbandry behaviors help us to ensure that the whales are healthy and thriving. 
and the care isn't just visiting. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. For the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Social learning and mimicry play a critical role in the life of a killer whale. From the moment they are born, they learn necessary life skills by watching and playing follow the leader with their mother and other members of the pod. Here at SeaWorld, the whales play follow the leader with the trainer. And we're going to ask for you to engage in a quick game right now. So let's have everyone on the left side of the stadium raise their left hand high into the air and give Cayuga a big wave. Look at that! You can see he is paying close attention to you. Killer whales are incredibly curious, and we often see them spy hopping or even jumping completely out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings. Let's ask Cayuca to demonstrate a similar behavior called a sighting bow. Go ahead and take your left hand and point at the ground. Now throw it over your right shoulder. And he's off. Cayuca is swimming down to the bottom of this 40-foot habitat so that he can build up the speed and power to jump completely out of the water. Oh, that is pretty impressive. Killer whales can communicate by tapping different body parts on top of the water or by manipulating the blowhole on top of their head. So we're going to move to the other side of the stadium. And I'd like for you guys to ask how you get for a vocalization. Take two pointer fingers and pretend you're conducting an orchestra. Did you know that sound travels four and a half times faster in water than it does in the air? That means that when the whales make these vocalizations or splash the water, that can be heard for miles around. Let's ask Tyga to demonstrate how loud he can be with a behavior called a breach. Go ahead and make two L's with your hands. Point down at the ground and throw it up over your shoulder. How you kept using those massive pectoral flippers on the side of his body to steer through the water, and his tail flew in an up and down motion to propel himself. By the way, if you're in the first few rows, you might get a little wet. As you can see, killer whales can communicate by leaping into the air and making a huge splash. Ladies and gentlemen, give yourselves a round of applause. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Through the conservation and research of the killer whales in our care, we have shed light on many of the incredible mysteries around these magnificent animals. For example, we know that the gestation period of a pregnant killer whale is 17 months. That's information that's impossible to obtain in the wild. However, some information can only be gained through field observation. So we work closely with our partners, like the Norwegian Orca Survey, to further our knowledge. Killer whales are remarkable, powerful animals. And perhaps the best expression of that power is when they hunt. Killer whales stand apart. They have no natural predators, and just about any other ocean animal could be their dinner. Depending on where they live and their chosen prey, they've developed some epic hunting techniques. Off the coast of South America, killer whales will beach themselves, riding in on waves just long enough to catch prey. They'll also create 
pigs and not animals like penguins or seals from icebergs. Most importantly, they cooperate, communicate, and coordinate as a team. Here's footage of killer whales corralling a school of herring. A whale dips in and feeds, while the other whales keep the fish together with swipes of their tails. Killer whales create waves to hunt. They use blue slams to stun their prey, and they can even beach themselves up and out of the water. For these whales, it's a fun demonstration. But for all of you, it's time to get them. Your actions, your choices. 
the audience, we will feature polar bears and the oceans in our hands.
your appreciation for killer whales around the world just as they have for all of us.